hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my youtube channel thank you again for tuning in this is miss henderson um thank you to my returning subscriber thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you so much for your support and all your feedback and for my also incoming subscriber i want to thank you and i want to extend my greatest gratitude to you so that being said, these videos are actually meant to actually help CNA students and, you know, help them to pass their Prometric exam and their CNA exam. So these questions are not meant to replace your reading in any form or any shape, but just to enhance your knowledge in the CNA content. So um, today I created a few questions, so I am going to be um, going through a few of the CNA questions that you can expect to find on your, ex on your um, CNA tests or your state board prometric exam. So the que first question I have here is, negligence by an RN is, I'm going to give you a moment for you to um just think about the question and try to come up with your answer and then i'm going to tell you the answer take a moment negligence by an rn is is it slander is it malpractice is it defamation is it boundary crossing well, the moment is up, and I hope that you have chosen um, malpractice because um, if an RN commits an act um, that violates the um, the standard of care within her scope of practice, she can be sued for malpractice. So malpractice will be the correct answer for this question, and I'm going to just bold it. Let's look at question number two. On your day off from work, you bring a patient your favorite cookies. This is harassment, boundary crossing, boundary signs, intentional third. Again, I will give you a moment to think about the answer and then I'll tell you the answer. So take a moment and think about the answer. So I hope you come up with this answer, boundary crossing, because if you're off from work, you're not supposed to be um, contacting a patient. You're not supposed to be bringing them um, your favorite cookies. That's like violating. That's boundary crossing. That's now within your scope of practice, and you're not supposed to do that. So I hope you chose B as your correct answer. So let's look at another question. Question number three, a picture of a CNA, a picture of a CNA is taken and put on to social media. This is, so now you snap a picture of a CNA and you put it on social media. It could be either Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the different platforms we have out there. Take a moment and think about the answer and we, I'll give you the answer in a moment. Malpractice, invasion of privacy, negligence, assault. So I hope you come up with the correct answer, which is invasion of privacy. You're not supposed to take a picture and put it up on social media without the consent of someone. Question four, a patient is tied in a chair to prevent him from wandering. This is slander, assault, verbal abuse, false imprisonment. Take a moment and think about the answer. Okay, so I hope you come up with false imprisonment. That's the correct answer for this question. We're not supposed to tie anyone to any chair or anything because we don't want to deal with their their behaviors. So it's false imprisonment.
A rule of conduct made by government body is, take a moment to think about the answer. Is it label? Is it third? Informed consent? A law? So I hope you come, come up with the correct answer, which is a law. So any rule that has to do with conduct and it's made by the government body has to do with laws. There's so many different laws. Okay. So let's look at another question. Question six. These are laws that deal with the relationship between people. Take a moment to think about the answer. Is it civil laws? Is it criminal laws? Is it tort? Is this responsibility? So I hope you come up with the correct answer, which is civil laws. So civil laws has to do with um, um, any type of situation you have with someone, you will take them to civil court and you will have it resolved there. So that's the correct answer for that question, civil laws. So question seven, if you suspect that a resident is being abused, you must take a moment and think about the answer. Call the police, tells the administrator, calls a doctor, report to the nurse in charge, so I hope you come up with the correct answer, which is report to your charge nurse. So that's your next line of chain of command. So we should always report abuse. Anytime you suspect that a patient is being abused, you have to report it to your charge nurse right away. Question eight, standards of care from which of the following? Standards of care come from which of the following? following. So is it laws, facility, assignment sheets, co-workers? So take a moment and think about where standards of care comes from. So I hope you come up with the answer laws because that's where standard of care comes from. Question nine has to do with true and false answers. So threatening a person with punishment is abuse. Take a moment and think, is it true or is it false? I hope you come up with true because it is true. Question 10. You suspect that a family member is hitting the resident. You should report your observation to the nurse in charge. Is it true? Is it false? Take a moment to think about it. So the correct answer, I hope you come up with true because that's true. You should report it to the charge nurse right away. Question 11, accepting a task beyond the legal limits of your role can lead to negligence. Take a moment to think about it. So I hope you come up with the answer true. Yes, if you take a task that's now within your scope of practice and it could lead to negligence because you don't know how to perform the task and you did it wrong, so you can it can lead to negligence. Question number 12, criminal laws are concerned with relationship between people. Take a moment to think about it. So this one, I hope you come up with false because it's um, it's not true. Criminal laws are concerned with relationship between people. No, that is false. 
All right, so let's see. We have question 13. To function at your best, you must be physically and mentally healthy. Mentally healthy. Which of the following is an unhealthy behavior? Take a moment to think about the answer. I hope you come up with this answer. Um, which is unhealthy behavior. So it has to be D because eating food high in fats and salts that's totally unhealthy. So I hope you come up with that answer. That's the correct answer. Question 14. Looking at things from another person's point of view is courtesy, work ethics, politeness, empathy. So I hope you come up with answer of empathy because empathy is when you are 